a thread by Carlos Osuita, a birthday blather fest for Donald Trump and Melania Trump. I once had a very sad conversation with a woman who refused to celebrate her children's birthdays. What's there to celebrate, she asked. Being born isn't an accomplishment. Birthday celebrations are, in fact, not celebrations of accomplishment. Here's what they are. When you're born, you leave the protection of your mother and enter the world as a named person. Knowing a person's name can give wrongdoers great power over that person. Therefore, all cultures celebrate birthdays as a way to protect the newest member of the family. Gifts are meant to make a deal with evil spirits. Leave this baby alone and you get all this cool stuff. Celebrating birthdays is an unambiguously altruistic act. Now, wealthy and safe navel gazers argue that there is no real altruism. They claim that all altruism is in fact selfish because it makes us feel good about ourselves. Well, what could be more selfish than to simply feed the newborn to the evil spirits? Here, take him, take her, just leave us alone. Oh, but then the family would die out, so saving lives is selfish. Nope. If everybody has as many babies as they can, you can spare a few to appease the evil spirits. But instead, at risk to themselves, people band together to protect others. And that is why we celebrate birthdays. I've heard it said that today's 50 is yesterday's 35. Well, Trump's 74 is yesterday's 35. I'm 57 and I have the osteoarthritis of a 97 year old man. So what? I get to live in the Trump era. My bones aren't an issue. And I have to say a word about Donald Trump Jr. I knew that Trump Sr. wanted to be a movie director. The movie 300 is about the Spartans at Thermopylae. King Leonidas and 300 men blocked the pass of Thermopylae so the rest of the Greek forces could retreat. Leonidas and his men faced about 200,000 Persians. When Persian King Xerxes I threatened to darken the sky with arrows, Spartan wit Dianakis replied that this was very good news because now the Spartans could fight in the shade and not the hot sun. I imagine Donald Jr. in that scene. Or General Anthony McAuliffe, acting commander of the U.S. 101 Airborne Division troops at Bastogne. The actual answer to the German ultimatum to surrender given by him. Simply nuts. On this birthday, my gifts to President Trump are my gratitude and my confidence. I'm a happy warrior saying nuts in the shade.